Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is second video in Parallels Remote Application Server video tutorial and in this video we are going to see how, how to install Parallels RAS step by step so um, basically you can get the Parallels from um, Parallels website so the first thing I want to show you how you can get the Parallels and so if you search on Google Parallels you will get this Parallels.com link which is palace desktop if I click on this web page so you on the home page you will see palace desktop 14 for Mac and if you scroll down you will see all the features which is available here so basically uh, I'm looking for something Parallels RAS so I'm going to type here RAS so which is remote and desktop delivery so if I click here so Parallels have different type uh, products so the product which we are going to focus is Parallels Remote Application Services so you can see from this diagram this is showing like you have a parallel application then you have a RDS and VDI and you can publish all these applications to the end users it might be whatever devices design printer so this is going to be your product and if you want to see live demo you can request them live demo and what all the features like high performance UX so this is all the all the features you can browse and read about the technology what they are using uh, and you can compare with other tools which is available for this also you can see they have a palace Mac management for SSCM and these all product they have so if you want to try they are providing try now uh, product also so you can try this parallel application in three ways the first thing you can get trial on a cloud and the cloud you can get on Amazon web services Microsoft Azure and trial in box which is going to be your like mm, virtual appliance which you can install and just go ahead and then you have it uh, install trial on your infrastructure so this is you can download uh, the all the setup in your infrastructure and you can install these evaluation versions application in your infrastructure and you, you can integrate with your active directory and then you can test all the scenario which you want to test before buying the project and a uh, product and you can have a proof of concept infrastructure so if you want to buy a try you can put here simply you need to put your first name last name business uh, email ID phone number company and what you are so once you click this finish you are going to have all the application link to download this application so I have all already downloaded all the applications so so if I click on download folders you can see all the files which I have downloaded like it have client RSA client it's have a RAS reporting web portal and it's having uh, everything is there including you can see um, virtual appliance for load balancing also so now what I'm going to do I'm going to install this RAS installer which is going to install your Palace remote application server so I'm going to run this setup so you can see what we have in this demo environment so the first machine which we have is our active directory server which has been 2k16 DC01 which is running active directory and DNS role so this is my active directory and DNS server win2k12 win2k12 uh, 16 DC01 you can see the domain name is victimforsoul.com and this is the IP address of my domain controller and if I go here active directory and DNS services is running on this machine and second we have a Paldas 01 you can see here 
so this is parallel 0 1 this machine is joining my domain which is victorinfosol.com you can see we have configured the IP address name the virtual machine and then join this server in domain so this is a brand new computer basically a virtual machine and we have renamed as a parallel 0 1 and this is going to be our parallel RAS server so there was some minimum requirement when you are going to start install this palace application like 4 gig uh, memory and minimum uh, processor requirement so you have to uh, make sure that you have a minimum hardware and software requirement for installing this palace remote application server so we are good and now you can see welcome to the palace remote application server wizard so click next accept the license agreement click next and this is going to be your installation path so click next and then you have a remote uh, uh, palace remote application server and this is going to be installed a full server package which include parallel remote application deployments applications such as RDS VDI PC you can connect palace remote application so this is going to be installed full package and if you want to customize you can always select customize and you can select what you want to install so I'm going with the palace full installation so click next and then you can see these are the some uh, important firewall ports which it's automatically going to add and allow rule for this palace server so this is going to be fine it's adding some like uh, HTTP, HTTPS port and other ports which is required for palace application to work uh, with your infrastructure so click next I'm going to automatically add the firewall rules and I'm going to install this install single sign on component so click next and then click on install so this is very lightweight application it's not going to take too much time to install this application so soon you will see this is going to be installed now it's installing services and you can see the installation is completed now and you can see palace remote application server and size is around 324 MB and this is going to be your version of palace so now you can launch the palace remote application so I'm not going to launch right now what I'm going to do I'm going to restart this machine after installing the palace once so now we have successfully installed the palace and now we can go ahead and configure the post installation task uh, on the palace server to create farm and other things so uh, we need to create one account to activate our palace account trial version for 30 days uh, trial so you need to sign up to the palace website and then you can log in with that credential here so let's see how we can do this so if I go here all programs you can see the try download is there it's automatically going to pop up your page to open it and you can see this so close this I'm going to open palace and then you can see palace remote application console so I'm going to send this to desktop so here we, and let's verify all the services are in healthy state so these services I can ignore Google Chrome and these things so just want to make sure everything is green and no error so now everything is green so we can minimize server manager and server palette application so you can see what we want to connect so we can select single sign on and then we can put our you can also go and edit your uh, settings here so what I'm going to do here I'm going to add my parallel server here and click on connect so it's going to uh, ask you the email ID and password or if you don't have you can register so I'm going to put my credential here 
so once you uh, provided your uh, information there like user ID and credential if you don't have account you can go and activate your trial account and you can see I have activated my trial account and you can see Parallels remote application was successfully activated for trial period and now you can see we have successfully logged in and this is warning some warning is coming there was no server registered to our uh, farm so we need to register everything later on we can do that so now you can see we have successfully registered this uh, palace application and we are in the console and we can now we are good and we can see the status of our site here first you can see the design what we have you can see the logical view also and on the site information you can see the gateway server publishing agent what we have and we don't have uh, you can see also the CPU disk RAM all the utilization here how the machine is performing and basically you can man monitor your parallel servers and we don't have anything like RDS VDI so we are going to do all these things one by one and you can see we can do publishing also so I want to show here administration under the administration you can see what we have so automatically administrators are going to be a part of this and if you want to add any other account you can always go and add so I'm going to add some other account like my hyper v admin here so this is going to be my hyper v admin and rds admin is also added here so this is good and you can verify all these settings if you want to enable and you can see by default setting audit is going to be enabled and you can see all the things which is here what is the first name last name everything is there all the task is going to be registered here so this is good so this is what this is all how we can install remote application palace remote application server and thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this video you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye